Hi, there's my purple here. I come across some uh, survival guides. They're 1994s and 95s. There's some interesting articles. The big debate on guns <clears throat> has been going on since whenever. Remember back, I remember I did a, a book review talking about a book in 1974 that was published about gun control. Well, here's an article in 1994. Um, it came out of Survival Guide here. And it talks about it. And I want to show you what it shows here. People who still have fear of the, let me do this where you can see it. Let me read it to you. It says the popular press, the New York Times, the information but leaves the interpretation behind. It says security tackle in uh, tactics in Vietnam still inspires widespread fear. And then it says Haiti general remains defensive as a strike embargo takes effect. So we're still, this was going on back in that time. So, you know, there were still a lot of fears, even in the 90s. Think about it. Even in the 90s, there was still a lot of fear. This here is, of course, like I said in a uh, survival guide. This was 1994 edition. And he's talking about while congressman uh, just during the time Charles Schrummer and President Bill Clinton were telling lies and twisted arms to get the last minute votes to ban assault weapons. I was in the control room broadcasting a national uh, public radio even newscast to a, a potential audience of almost 8 million people. And you can see who this was written by. It was written by this gentleman right here. Okay. So, and he says, uh, the summaries and sound bites whizzed by and the uh, pinning gun ban fact was eventually addressed. The anchor woman ended her summary, the, the assault weapons account for less than 1% of firearms that are used in the majority of crimes. So this is what this woman cites. It says it, it's used in the majority of crimes. Now, uh, where did you... Where in the world did that status come from and how did it get on air? Even the most insert Americans know by now that the weapons cited in the latest bans are seldom used in crimes. Now, a lot of it, some are basically going underground here. I said, you know, look it up. It's in a 1994 edition. I'm not going to read this whole article. It's a survival guide, 1994 edition. But basically what they're saying is here is that many of them is going on the ground about it. Many of them is protesting it. And it still says uh, more than 20,000 gun owners assembled uh, in um, Michigan uh, last May to protest inspiring anti-firearm litigations. So basically what it's doing is, is for this here, it's making it harder for a lot of people, they're going more underground. This is uh, happening more every day. Survivalist groups, prepper groups, uh, people who just live off the land and things. Many of them are going underground to uh, keep their weapons for protection or whatever. Now, some of them just flat out gun collectors and they have countless number of guns. But then you do have the bad guys out there. Don't get me wrong. You have the bad guys with equipment. So... Check this article out. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's a big issue in it. It's coping with the future. The attempt to uh, purge the population of their assault weapons, signals uh, the beginning of the end of the Republic. Once the feds succeed in outlawing the sales and manufacture of effective battle weapons for the people, then attempt to register and uh, confiscate the current supply will surely follow. Don't succ succumb to false hopes. The situation will deteriorate. Again, I said this here is in uh, September 1994. Uh, this is showing where someone has even went to the point of encrypting. This here was just an older computer showing all the encrypt thing here for messages for people because many of them was becoming fearful. Um, 
It's to fortify your community by supporting the good things around you. As bad as the media situation is here in southeastern Michigan, there are nevertheless people like uh, Mark Scott's a, a fairy companion of freedom and a fearless um, intellectual warrior of the airways who hope forth every weekday morning um, on a WXYT in Southfield, Michigan. Now, like I say, basically here, they have a lot of issues. on. I mean, I do know some of the guns was outlawed, I mean, banned and things. But it's really making people go underground. I mean, being fearful to acquire these. And many of these guns was passed down or bought or traded and has no thing. But if the government comes in and, and seeks total control over the weapons and takes everything, they're going to make many of these groups and many of these people totally go underground with their weapons because they're not going to give them up. So check this article out. See what you think about it. This is live prepper here. I want you to be safe. Be happy. Bless you all.